<laughs> Pretty cool, hey? It goes a completely different colour outside, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's a completely different colour outside. It just changes again. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ian at SS8000 Cars and today really is an exceptionally exciting day. I can't keep the grin off my face. Time for GT3 to be picked up at Hatfield Porsche. All the bits that I wanted have been done. Some tremendous delays, which I'll explain a little bit more about when you see what I've done, because otherwise that will give the uh, the game away. But it's been in the country well, seven or almost eight weeks, so it's been here a while. But because there were holdups at Porsche Reading, today is the day that um, that I get it. And uh, originally it was the date penciled in was the 14th of February so we're a bit after that but no matter um, I've seen a few pics of it I think it looks stunning but I'll leave you guys to be the judge of that it's the GT3 4.0 as you know there's quite a number of them around but uh, it's worth the money just for the engine I was listening to it on the video that uh, Stuart at uh, Hatfield sent me and it sounds epic, even with the limited revs they were using. So, we're going to get on our way and um, we'll see you when we get up there. Hey guys, it's Ian and we're approaching Hatfield, who hopefully have my GT3. So we're coming down past the, uh, the showroom now. We're going to take a right at the, uh, the roundabout and... Um, Go into the, the Hatfield car park. Yeah. Rather like the colour. Don't know whether I'd be brave enough or not. Carrera 4S. Well, hey guys, we're in uh, the showroom. And here is the new GT3. And you can see there have been a few extras put on it. We've got the, uh, the wing mirrors have been painted in the guards red and then the Expel protection film has been applied which mats them down, which I think looks absolutely fabulous. You, you have still got some gloss edging on them where the where the matte paint doesn't actually pick it up so here round inside the mirror itself and then the end plates for the the spoiler we've also got in um, expel on the side but as you can see on this side it's um, in guards red so it's agate gray and it has the expel protection film applied which effectively makes it matte. Now, there was no way of knowing how this was actually going to look until it was done, but I cannot tell you how excited I am about the final result. I think it is totally, totally stunning. Now, the, having the end plates on the, uh, on the rear spoiler and the, and the mirrors themselves is actually sort of historical Porsche. I mean, you know, a, a number of, I've seen a number of the RS models that have come out over the years are painted in this way. So I wasn't being completely unique when I, when I came up with it, but the, the main reason was because I think the, obviously we have the satin black um, eight, 20 inch wheels with the center locking nut and the red calipers. And I had the edging on the wheels um, is in the also in the guards red so I wanted to pick up a little bit more red on the actual car itself now another thing that the Hatfield did for me which I'm really really thankful for is do you see we have GT3 
4.0 on the side of the car. I think that's just, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I can't tell you how pleased I am with the, with the end result. I mean, you never know until you see it. I had a slight um, issue with the number plate this morning, but um, that's the number plate that's going to be on the car, but it won't be the number plate that I drive home in, in unfortunately. Now the GT3 has the wide body, so you can see the arches are extended, not quite to the same extent as on the GT3 RS and the GT2 RS, but nevertheless they are considerably wider than the standard car. We've gone for the black surrounds and the, the full LED lights, which I think is really a must on the car. Lots and lots of uh, air inflow for the some of the primary radiators which are behind the mesh. And then this has the the daytime running lights, which are the the four rect almost rectangular uh, markings on the side of the lights there, which I'll show you when the car is when the car is started. As you can see under the uh, the spoiler the top of the spoiler here we have the 4.0 I thought about doing that in red but in the end I decided that I'd stick with the the color scheme that's on the on the car itself and you can see there's no expel on that that is um, shiny so to speak the metallic finish of the agate gray what a fantastic looking machine in my opinion Now on the new GT3, as you're probably aware, or if not, it's the same size spoiler as the, the first generation 991 GT3, but it's set back and slightly higher. And then the end plates in the, uh, in the previous GT3 were the same colour as the car. On the, uh, the 9912 GT3, they, they come in black. So obviously Porsche Reading took these off for me sprayed them in guards red and then applied the expel paintwork i didn't go for the ceramics partly because i'm not sure that i think that the standard steel brakes do anything other than stop the car magnificently but also because i don't think i couldn't find a way of introducing a yellow brake caliper onto the wheel um, I think it would have looked wrong and then that would have required me to try and pick up yellow inside the car which I didn't want to do. I was trying to, you know, have the red, the red stitching inside and the red markings inside just to sort of highlight the car. The only thing that I have gone for, which <laughs> some people may say, well that's mad, but I've gone for the, the, the grey, the very light grey. Um, seat belts themselves which I just think adds quite a nice contrast and it goes brilliantly with the with the red stitching in my opinion now I'll go through the full spec of this car over the next week or so but basically inside it's got leather everything there wasn't a single box that I didn't tick I've gone for leather on the sun visor which I think makes quite a nice contrast to the standard Alcantara now we have the the bucket seats but they're not the full bucket seats they they fold and the idea of this car is that it's a touring with with the wing i wanted the wing so it's going to be used for traveling across europe and uh, and all sorts of journeys like that they're still carbon fiber backed as you can see but they fold forwards and you know if you think about it there's a massive amount of room in the in the back there because I've I also didn't specify the the club's package which would have had the full roll cage in in the car like you saw with um, my friend's GT3 when I filmed it last year.
I just think I just think that's absolutely perfect gone for the Bose sound system so I don't know how that will uh, will manage to be heard above the noise of the engine because the engine just makes an absolutely stunning noise then we've gone for standard steering wheel Alcantara steering wheel but with the uh, the top marker in red which I, I think is rather nice I didn't want red dials so what I did was I went for red on the Sport Krona pack so you've got a little bit red in the center of the dash all the the dash is all leather and as you can see even round the chrono package itself it's all stitched and round the the speaker and ventilators here got it on the sides all this is leather down around the center console went for carbon fiber it was a little bit boring i suppose i could have gone for red or gray but um I just like carbon fiber. I just think the carbon fiber is lovely. And then, of course, as standard with the the sports buckets, you get the Porsche crest in the in the actual uh, headrest itself. I've gone for the carbon fiber mats, which unfortunately haven't arrived. <laughs> so they'll, they'll no doubt come in in the next uh, in the next week. They're supposed to have a two-day delivery, but they, they didn't quite work out that way. Otherwise, it's pretty standard 911 fare inside. But what I love about 911s is, I think I've said this before, but it's the size. Do you know, it's really, really, really small inside. And as a consequence, that's reflected in the outward dimensions of the, the car itself. Got the standard GT grille which also feeds through to the radiators in the front of the car. All GT cars have that. Actually, all GT engined cars have that. You can see the rear wheel arches. They definitely come out there. You don't really get that from the front of the car, but you can see if you come down to the, to the, um, the side skirts here you can just see there how far they actually go out to accommodate the the wider rear arches then I think the the black satin painted wheels with the red surround are, I think they're stunning it's my personal opinion you see a center locking nut with the GT3 moniker on it just looks lovely now this car has black. I did not specify for the uh, for the side skirts or or anything else to be painted in the same color of the car. But because, uh, partly maybe because of the color of the floor here, which is also grey, you can see quite clearly that the um, you can see quite clearly that it looks like they have been sprayed. But take my word for for it, they are actually black. And then we've got the GT3 four liter on the side of the car, which I think looks very special indeed like that of course when the next version is a 4.2 of course it also means that it slightly dates the car but I don't care I just really really pleased overall with the uh, with the final result just absolutely stunning and then you've got obviously got the extra air intakes at the back here did consider doing them in red as well but I decided it's very very fine line between doing things that make a car look special and doing things which in the end actually spoil spoil the car and once you've done them it's difficult to undo them and then of course you've got the air air outtake here which i presume gives air to the engine although if i open the engine you'll see that you can't actually see the engine So that's nice and a nice touch actually carbon fiber around the but as uh, long as you've got a gavel got your oil oil level and i presume that may well be your washer although i'm not utterly sure uh there's no question at all how how do you play with the engine i suspect they don't they they work on it from underneath i suspect 
but it may be possible to take all this off of course but the the days of being able to see the engine when you open the rear cover are long gone it's quite a heavy cover as well I mean, there's quite a I presume you do that I'm not quite sure what you do here excuse me a second let me put the the camera down briefly there we go you have to move the lever there to allow it to fix into place which I haven't done very well have now again we've got the privacy glass at the back and at the side windows which I think is quite it's quite subtly done because you can still see through it it just gives a little bit of privacy um, from cars that are behind you when when you're in traffic so overall I'm a very pleased person indeed I think this is going to be a stunning addition to the SS8000 cars collection One of the advantages of getting Porsche to do things is they have a certain standard. So, for example, the Matex Bell um, film protection is guaranteed for seven years. Which, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite important in a way because it means that certainly during my lifetime with the car, even if I have the car a, a much longer time, it's going to be um, it's going to be covered and looked after. You can see how the leather on the car, extended leather, comes all the way to the front because we've got the stitching right the way down. Pop into the passenger seat. I haven't sat in it yet. <laughs> I have a friend coming round who has a, is a, a young guy that uh, runs... Um, I think he's the young car spotter if you want to look him up on the internet he want, he's going to do a video on the car which I'm I'm quite pleased about actually I think it'd be quite fun and he may may well be that his will get up there before mine does but I think I said to some of you that my daughter is just finishing her finals um, at uni and as a consequence she's not been available so I've been putting up videos that are fairly basic um, videos that didn't need much editing and if you know me you'll know that that's all my videos need editing I'm really really pleased with it you can see there's leather all the way down the rear rear quarters of the car other than that it's carpet it looks a little bit empty <laughs> without the seats in the back but um, you know that's the focus of the car and this car will still be very track focused so I think overall very pleased person and I'm very happy with the uh, the choice of color and the decals and the and the uh, the highlighting of the mirrors and the uh, rear spoiler end plates cars obviously created quite a bit of attention so we've got lots of people taking photographs of it and um, and, and videos okay well guys it's here an SS8000 cars signing off what a fantastic day. I am sure you'll see many, 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 many more photographs and uh, videos of this car. Really hope you like it. Let me know in the comments.